We've got a couple questions coming in from the audience here that I do want to make sure we get to. Uh, let's see. We've got one from Natalie that says, I'm starting research this fall, and I'm also studying for my MCAT. Is that too much? Uh, Natalie mentioned that she's a sophomore. So what do you guys think? In your experience, is research and MCAT studies, along with, I assume, also some pre-medical pre requirements, is that too much of a course load? Oh, so I guess I'll take this one because sure. I am undergrad, so I was taking courses. Um, I felt that if you schedule your time out well, there's no reason why you cannot do both. Mm -hmm. But it has to be important. Like for me personally, I said I tended to do the research aspect of my um, resume in the summer because I had more time then to really devote to all research. But I know plenty of people, and I myself did research during um, my school year as well. And then what I did was this, the research, you know, was during the day, but my MCAT studying would be more at night. And I understand that there's a lot of work that you have to do, if, especially if you're in school and, you know, you, classes get mixed in with your MCAT. But I think what is important is to focus on one thing at a time. You know, if you have a test the next day, if you have an exam, study for that test. Study for your, like, art history exam, you know, not, not for your MCAT. The MCAT can be the next day. But importantly for myself, I know that I was doing research and then my semester, right, but that semester of um, from January to May, I took a lighter school schedule. Mm -hmm. And that way I was able to balance it more. And since I've been there for four years, I had enough leeway in my schedule to be able to take slightly fewer classes and that's how I was able to do it personally. I think that's great advice. The other tip that I'll give to Natalie and I'm going to read a little bit into her situation, she mentioned that she's a sophomore so I'm going to assume that she's also taking some of the pre-medical requirements, probably exactly. organic chemistry, right. maybe physics at this time. Um, so it might actually be a little early for her to, to really truly begin studying mm -hmm. for the MCAT, at least in terms of taking a full course and digging in. I would say uh, as a sophomore I, I would focus more on the, on the requirements. Mm -hmm. and we all know grades matter and things like that. And, and, and you want to have the strong GPA when you're applying to these schools. So I would focus more on that. As a sophomore, you probably wouldn't be taking the MCAT until maybe the summer after. Mm -hmm. um, and, and unless it's changed, school ends in May. Maybe you take it one of the August ones and, and really spend those three months over the summer preparing for it. You don't need to be cramming yourself during the school year when you when you do have time. You do still have, I guess, as a sophomore now, you still have three more years of college, um, and it gets back into the social life, the extracurriculars. You don't want to spend your entire time in your dorm room, mm -hmm. and you want to experience college. You want to be with your friends. You want to meet new people, that whole lifestyle as well. So. Even if she doesn't have a lot, even if she was taking it, let's say she was taking all of her pre prereqs that were needed for the MCAT right now, I found that when I was studying for my MCAT, I was taking physics while I was studying for my MCAT. So I was actually learning as I would come to class and I'd be like, oh, I just learned that today. Um, but I found it actually helpful to be studying for my MCAT, and at the same time, my classes, a lot of my classes were my pre-med requirements. That way, actually, I didn't feel so guilty when I was studying for my classes, mm -hmm. because I'm like, I'm studying for my MCATs as well. When I was taking, you know, that I was cramming for my physics exam or my physics final, which I ended up taking my physics final two days before I took my actual MCAT <laughs> exam. But I thought, this is great. I'm like, taking everything in on reviewing all of my physics things and so I felt okay that this same time I was taking my MCATs two days later because I felt like I was doing two things at the same time, killing two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm.